Video blog post number eight. It is currently 2.30 in the morning on October 28th. I am in Erie, Pennsylvania, in my hotel room, getting ready to go to sleep because i got to be up in six hours to get ready for the next leg of our journey. First and foremost, before I start this post, I want to thank everybody that hasn't gotten sick of me yet, and even if you have, you've continued to follow my pictures and my posts and my videos. Um, thank you for coming along for the journey. Um, if you don't like it, don't watch, but if you do, if you want to have a good time and, and see what life is like on the road, please continue to follow along. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter, at CF on the mic. You can follow me on Instagram, at CF on the mic, um, and just Facebook. Uh, hopefully I'm going to start up a blog, um, like a real one, but who knows. Uh, anyway, again, again, it's 2.30. Uh, before I get going into this, I want to f uh, say to everybody back home in Boston and in Rhode Island and Connecticut, all down the eastern seaboard, please take care of yourselves. Be safe. This hurricane is coming, and we don't know how hard it's going to hit. Some places are saying it's going to hit really bad. Some places are saying it's not going to be as bad as we think it is. So um, either way, please take precautions. You are in my thoughts. You are in my prayers. I'm hoping that everybody gets through safe and sound. Uh, the next leg of this journey, uh, we actually ju are just missing the storm. We are going to Iowa and Wisconsin tomorrow morning, or in the morning. Uh, we're there for a week, then we come back for radio touring, then we come back to Philly. We're in Philly for a day. We go fly down to Key West for six days, come back up to Long Island for two. Then we fly back down to Arkansas and Missouri for another week of radio touring, then back up to Boston for the 16th and 17th, I believe, 16th and 17th of November. Um, tonight was a very surreal night for me. Uh, that's why I'm making this blog post. We played uh, at the Beachwood Bar and Grill in Erie, Pennsylvania. And it's right on a golf course if you ever have a chance to, if you ever make it up this way. Uh, please stop by. Great people there. Uh, but we played an intimate acoustic show for about 50 people. And everybody that was there knew this Joe knew all of Joe's songs. It was so cool to see them singing along um, when we're just you know we're there playing. Uh, so thank you to everybody that came out tonight. Uh, my main reason for this blog post is tonight, while it was surreal in the fact that everybody knew Joe's songs, tonight meant a lot to me because tonight was the validation of all the hard work that I've been putting in. Everybody that that knows me that's been chatting with me through all of this you know how hard I've been working and putting in the hours and, and learning all these songs and uh, working my butt off to really secure my spot on this team and Joe shook my hand after the show tonight when we were in the car and he looked me in the eye and said thank you I can tell how I know I know how hard you're working and it really showed tonight tonight was the best show you played and your harmonies are tight your guitar was on point and just keep working hard. Uh, I can't. I couldn't be happier to have you on this team. I love you. So, you know, this is. It, I'm part of a family. I'm part of. You know, this is. This is my. These are my brothers. And I texted Sully um, when I got back to the room and chatted with him. And you know, he said to me, "You know, congratulations, too. That's awesome. Like you've worked hard for this." And uh, it's just that validation that that you work so hard for something, and it. You know it. It shows, and and it, and it means a lot. So, um, also tonight we played the song Brothers. It's on Joe's album. And uh, on the album, Ken Block of Sister Hazel sings the the other lead part. And I have the pleasure of, of singing his parts. And actually we're going to be playing with them on the rock boat in February, uh, which is going to be so cool uh, to share a stage with him and, and a bunch of other artists. But... Uh, my brother got activated to be on duty for the storm that's coming. I, for those of you who don't know, my brother Andrew is in the military. He's in the Army National Guard. And he's a firefighter on base uh, at Camp Edwards. Um, at Camp Edwards or the uh, Mass Military Reserve. Mass Military Reserve, that's the one. Sorry, Andrew, it's late. Um, but, uh, but he got activated. Um, and singing the words in the songs, uh, in the song Brothers, it really hit hard for me tonight. Uh, I actually got choked up on stage, and I try not to let myself do that. But 
Um, my brother is my hero, and I will say that till the day that I die. Um, he's doing things that are allowing me to do this, and he's one of the biggest supporters of my dream to be a musician. Uh, so uh, I don't mean to get all sappy on everybody, but uh, tonight meant a lot to me. I'm even almost getting choked up now thinking about it. So, um, Andrew, I love you. Uh, be safe during this storm. And, uh, again, everybody be safe. Uh, get, sorry for the long video. This is, uh, it's going to be a wild ride. So thank you all for coming along for it. And uh, we'll see what's going to happen this week. Going to Iowa and Wisconsin. Never thought I'd say that. See you guys. Love you all. Love, peace, chicken, grease. I'm out of here.